went back in with with the horse but the worst part about it was is that you know they get the horse in and i'm like it was a steep steep ravine so you had to go down to the bottom sounds like we got some competition yeah they don't know what we know <laughs> well 20 years in the waiting opening morning of henry mountain bison tag can't believe it actually never thought i'd draw but i did and now we're going to jump in our rigs and drive up jr ray are going to show me where they almost got run over in a stampede last night before it got dark we're going to shoot a llama and quarter it and hang it <laughs> shoot, shoot a llama, llama? <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah. I, was wondering my damn I didn't know we were on llama. I, I came for bison, but I'm down. That's going to be too easy. <clears throat> your call, man. Cut. Your call. <laughs> Sorry, Bo, one of your llamas took it for the team. We couldn't get a bison. We had to settle for <clears throat> yeah. a llama. So, we're going to shoot a bison. Stay tuned, folks. If nothing else, I bet you we see a bison. Whether or not I have the talent to shoot a bison, hmm, that's open for discussion. But I guess we'll find out. Cows and calves. There's two big ones way up high. Other bulls way up high. Because legal? Has meat anything on anything is legal. Has meat on it? Anything is legal? Is, is it either really it's either sex? Hundred choice. Mm -hmm. Bison calf? Yeah. Yeah. All right, you got a 400 yard pin on your bow, don't you, Randy? <laughs> I got an 800 yard pin. <laughs> All right. Just arc it in there. Well, we came driving up the road here. There's some guys parked right there that are glassing. So we thought, I wonder what they're glassing at. We look, and there's a small herd of 10. Might have one bull in it, uh, mostly cows and calves. Another herd of cows and calves way over there. And then two bulls right up just under the crest of the ridge. So, two bulls right on the skyline up there. So we've got four bulls located. A group of cows and calves. I want to see what those other two bulls do. They bed down. I'm going after them. I don't know what everybody is sitting around here waiting for. Yeah. I'm not going to kill a buffalo sitting here and watching them. I'm trying to figure that out. Everybody's just looking. Maybe they're see, waiting for them to come lower. It's it's the, it's the first day, and I think people are there. I don't think they're that inclined to. I'm absolutely to, to inclined get after, I'm, to get after it. I am highly motivated. I'll go shoot one up there. It's so steep up there. I think if he gets fired, he might roll a couple hundred feet down the hill. He might get that benefit too. See that's, that's that and yeah. this. If I'm around, I'll check it out, and I might come grab a DNA sample off it. If sure, um, man, you're confident. Sense. I like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Last year, everybody that we had 70% success on this hunt, and then the oh. people that didn't kill, they all said they had opportunities. So really, yeah. huh? So. so how spooky are they from human pressure? Right, they're now? pretty spooky. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. could get lucky this early, but once they start getting pressure, they get real spooky. So yeah, yeah, they'll run for miles if they get once I get shot at, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool, thank you. So I'd just soon be up there than to be down here waiting for everybody else to make up their mind. Yeah. Gonna need to saw some things up here shortly. 
they usually don't carry a saw. But for a bison, when you want to eat bison ribs, you carry a saw. We got two great guys who have offered to pack them out. We got Ray White here. He, he's going to pack the head and hide, he said. And JR said he's got both hindquarters. Sounds like a plan. Uh, Surf and turf tonight. Yeah, you thought that salmon. So yeah. we're ready, huh? Let me go over this way so we don't see it. Huh? Game on. We've been glassing these bison. We went and parked our trucks, starting to get our packs ready. Got my bow on my pack, and some like uh, two guys on an ATV came flying by us, <laughs> parked right around the corner, and started up the hill because they saw we were getting ready to go up here. Well, they're just up here ahead of us. We're making time on them. I was gonna ask them, you know, where are you going? I'll go a different direction. Then. Well, there's another hunter even above them. Huh? <laughs> right there. Wait till they get up there and see him. <laughs> uh, I guess that's what we get for standing around wondering so long this morning. We could have already been up there. Part of it was we were looking to see who is somebody stalking these because we didn't want to get in their way. Well, oh well. Bison are coming. The bison are coming this way. At least two big bulls with them. Someone's chasing them. I don't think any of those are our bulls. There's two younger bulls in there. I guess we should have been right at the at the road. I don't know what the wind's doing over there, but we glassed them on this bench from about a mile and a half over there. And now we're only about, I don't know, seven, eight hundred yards away. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna catch that ridge, use that profile to hide me. Mm -hmm. And when I get up there to the trees, see where they're at. And maybe there aren't any bulls there, I don't know. But, maybe it's all bulls. And maybe it's all bulls.
shoulders hurt, kind of. That shoulder's so ruined, it doesn't matter. It's not good, though. Not good when you're archery hunting, that's for sure. This way. Dang it. So close. I had seven bison in here. Just right in the saddle below us. One of them blew out a little early, I don't know why, but the other six had one good bull in it, maybe a smaller bull, two calves and two cows. But we got close, we were under 100 yards and the wind just got so squirrely. And just trying to cross these little openings. And there's six of them, they just kinda look at you. Plus I think the swirl, that wind, had them thinking, man, something, we better look out for danger. And so they all got up on their feet and they're just looking. Caught us in this little spot between a couple trees. And they went this way. We saw them just hightailing it. <laughs> I know what you do. Just keep trying and keep trying. It'd really be helpful if we could catch a lone bull. I don't know if we will. Maybe that's just wishing against common sense, but it'd be good if we could. But I head back, the guys, JR and Ray and Dan are back there waiting for us, so we'll try to find another group of them. <laughs>